All right. Hello, the world. How's everybody? Drinking water today. Probably better than Sprite. I need to do that more. Uh, maybe this will be the time when I start doing that more. I just like the bubbly. Um, but yeah. So anyways, uh, there's a checklist I keep forgetting to close before we start this up. Not that checklists are bad. Ooh, that's a good idea. Um, SDL. So that went over there, which is not where I needed it. I need it over here. Thing to add. Build checklist tool in Django for local tools site. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, I think that's actually somewhere down there. Done. Make a checklist. Oh, yeah. So, no, I hadn't actually put that on there. That's cool. Um, before we get to Django today, we're going to take another look at the NASA video assembler uh, and try and figure out why it's throwing these errors. And so we'll go back and forth on this because it takes a little while to run these processes. Oh, that's actually something that I can do. Okay, so no, I don't want to mess with that. Do I? I'm not sure. Um, yeah, so let me find a test file. Sorry, before we do the test file, we're going to set up. So for debug, so we're passing debug in. We've got debug set. I had an idea about what I was going to do with debug, and I can't remember what it was. Why is JSON? Oh, because it's searching for it. Um, so we go through, we run all this stuff, and it crashes. I need to change my music. I'm listening to slightly different music than you. Oh, you're not listening to any music right now. Never mind. I'm listening to different tunes than you, so. If it gets not so, sorry about that. Bring it down just a little bit, just so it's not as annoying. Uh, I had an idea for this in dream time last night and don't remember what it was now it was something about adding oh i remember what it was we're gonna add so if debug random seed is one so what that'll let us do is wait how's that not random oh uh because we're using, yeah, so we're, we're creating random integers to do the generation, to like select the clips, select the scenes, and then select the transitions between the scenes. But what I want to do is if you add a seed to the random, it will always do the same thing for the same number of tries. So the first time it'll always, you know, if you're doing random integer and the first time is seven, it will always be seven the first time if you have a random seed in there. That produces that so debug on that should let me always get the same progression of things oh and actually it should do so this pulls up for each video that'll be interesting to see i don't know if random crosses the run of the entire script or just the instance of the class that's actually something to see um, I'm just curious to see what that does. So let's go to the scratch pad for a minute. Uh, let's make a new directory. Random seed test. Random. 
random seed test. So use bin environment python3 import random. Oh, can you do, I bet you can just do this. Yeah. So four comma five. So every time we run this, we should see the same. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, so right now here, one, 11. Because I think, I think the last number doesn't, is gets one down. No, I don't know. We'll just run it a few times and see what happens. See, it's all, there's 11. Okay, yeah, so it is, it is inclusive. I'm assuming one shows up here at some point. Do, 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 there's one. Okay. So, but now if we do random seed one, whatever, it could be anything. But every time I run it, it's going to be three. So the question is. Class, random test, random run, whatever, random or er, randomizer. Def init. Right, so the question is does does the random trick restart? Because if we do, hang on, let me show another thing. Random list via seed dot pi. So import random, random seed one. And I think this is also going to give us I expect this should give us the same thing. We should just see three a lot. Yeah, every time we run it, we get three. But if you do it multiple times, it's a progression, right? So three, 10, and so what we can do is for num in range of one to 10. See, that's, yeah, let's do zero to 10 because that way we'll get actually 10. run and so we get the same the same thing right the same list is going to come out every time 310 2 5 whatever is that font i can't i think that font's a bit yeah okay that's cool um so if we init and we set the seed to one. Show num. Print random. Random at one ten. Get our same thing going here. And then we do r equals randomizer r dot show now and then we'll just do the same thing right so for num in range zero to ten r dot show num 
Yeah, okay, so it, it, it progresses in general, even though I'm resetting the seed. So it's it's the run of the script. Which makes sense. Okay, cool. I'm assuming that happens with secondary files. So... If name equals main. This way, if we run this from a different file, random run from other file pi. Oops. So USB user bin environment. Python 3 import, uh, so from yeah, random seed test. Random seed test import I am P O R T. Is that gonna work? Yeah, okay, that worked. So R equals randomizer for num in range of one to 10. R show num, right? 310. Okay, yeah, so it, it works regardless of if you're jumping over to the other files. Um, and also, just to see. Let's make one go. Here. So the first one should be coming from this one. Oh, look at that. It's different. Oh, because I didn't put the seed. Ah, oh, the seed kicked in there. Interesting. So wait a minute. Oh, but if we make another class, that's really what I wanted to test. Uh, my brain just went. Um, nope. Random seed one. Ah, okay. So the seed resets it. So I think what's going to happen is if we do R2, everybody's favorite robot. Whoops. And now we do four num in range one ten. R2 dot show. I don't know why it's not picking that up. Probably because the way I'm importing it funnily funnily. Yeah, so 310. Oh, okay, so every time you reset the seed. Okay, so that means... Where'd go? Where'd it go? P, Q, R, random seed test. Random seeds. 
Every time you call random seed, it resets back to the start start of that seed's progression. Is that making spaces? Okay. Um, each time you call random, something from random, it moves one step on the progression. If you make a class, uh, the random seed crosses over between modules. So it's at the top level for the run. Let's rename this. Just make these a little easier to see what's going on. And I'm, I'm thinking digital garden type stuff. But also, this is fine because I'm thinking about the digital garden idea. And what's cool about it is because I'm like, like I keep pretty decent notes, but I haven't been doing as much code stuff in notes because I keep them in. Well, actually, that's not true. I, whatever. I'm, I'm going to be even more focused on making good notes here because I'm going to be publishing them. So I want to make sure that it's not just for me that understands them, but other people. But that means future me will be able to understand them a little bit easier too. Not spill the water. No, I broke it. The little safety band has decided to fight but I won I beat the piece of plastic into submission um clean up the view there a little bit uh also you know what oops oh no it's chat that we want to have that I did get gif that should change it thanks t uh random seed Reset. Is there a way? Oh, yeah, yeah, you can do. Can you just do? Iron rate, well, like, can you do a range without calling, without actually assigning a variable? Do something to look at at some point. Not right now. 
Uh, I want to make it easier to see this on one line. Random num space and equals nothing. So that should do. How about a comma? Is that a comma in there? Random seed one. Same thing. Oops. Yeah, so could you have, I don't know, there's, I'm not gonna look at them right now, but there's like ways to actually like, I don't know, do formatting type stuff like that. So that you'd like add it to a list and then just join it with spaces or whatever. Um, that'd be a handy one to know. Uh, so here we go. I have a question. It is spaces. But it knows it's Python, so when you hit delete, it goes back. Okay, I'm just making sure it's, I know what's going on. Uh, the zero one random seed reset pi file shows a basic reset of the seed. Um, random num, and again, I'm just making good, I want to make sure these things are as easy to see as possible. Let's put that in these. And equals nothing. And then, so we're going to do R2 with the same thing. Rename this. Seed inside class does reset. And I'm not worried about showing, like, this is the class. So I already proved that it, like, goes over the class. Well, maybe. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Same things happen, so it's fine. Uh, note that if the random seed is in another file that doesn't have any effect. You can make a bunch of these. Um, but let's delete this one. We have a duplicate. 
don't remember. Refactor, safe delete, optimize imports. No, it doesn't appear so. All right. Duplicate the old fashioned way. O3, seed, outside. Class. No reset. Bye. So as expected, this won't this will just do the numbers just keep changing, right? So that's cool. Um okay, that's cool. So now I know how that works. So the NASA assembler, if debug, I actually don't want it there because I'm going to have multiple, multiple files coming in. And so really where I want to do it is here. Config path, dev config, config path, loading config, NASA assembler, config, config path. And then the so NASA assembler. We're actually not passing debug. Okay, here we are. Yeah. Debug equals false. Well, once we load the config, it'll read that. So if in a debug random seed one. So all this is trying to do is get us to where when we run the file, it gives us the same, it runs for the same clips and it gives the same transition so that we can kind of go through and debug and see if we can figure out what's happening. Cause we need to be, it needs to be repeatable in order to figure it out. Right. Um, so this is talking to this file cause we're, cause it exists. And the bug is true. All right. Whoops. That happens a lot. And let's just go, this should overwrite, but I'm just gonna make sure the logs are cleared out right now. NASA assembler. Yeah, there's a problem log that I captured, but we're gonna do this. And just see what happens. So this will take a few minutes to run. Uh, we'll bounce and for a second and see what else is going on. But right now, I'm gonna make a quick pit stop. I'll be right back.
All right. Still chewing. Also, I'm completely wrapped up in cords. What's oh, gonna be funny is if this works. And by funny, I'm gonna be like, oh, that kind of funny. Um. Guess what I want to do while that's going is mess again with Django. Played around with it a little bit last night and got a good setup going. Um, but I think I want to start from scratch and then just kind of just like doing scales, kind of going through it a little bit. Um, and also. Yeah. Basic setup for corn key. All right, we're just gonna run through this. Make the name of the project same. Make the name of the project config. Yeah. So I'm actually gonna go through, come here, let's find our Django scratch pads. I'm actually gonna blow this away. Yeah, we're gonna blow it away. I wanna, I, I wanna struggle through it again without having it as a reference just to see what's going on. Uh, and so we're gonna commit to that. Well, we're gonna mostly commit to that. We're gonna delete it from here so that I can maybe get back to it if I need to. Django scratch pads, basics. There we go. So it's in my trash. I can still get to it. Oops. Ah. What's going on? Oh, I'm running. <sighs> Everything's going to be slow. Um, Because I'm running that NASA assembler thing. All right, so there's no virtual directory here, right? Local. If I just open a terminal, does that automatically go there? Where does it go? Look how slow that is. Oh, okay, so it does put a top level Django scratch pads directory. I actually don't want that. I want each scratch pad to have their own thing. So I should. Just be able to take out Python version. I'm going to see if this works. Oh, that freaks it out because it doesn't see it leave. Um, let me close this. Let's open a new one. Now I'm confused. That shouldn't have been there. All right, we're gonna start all the way over with that directory. Empty repo, good. Read me, mark down. Django, scratch pads. S C R A T C H P A D S, scratch pads. Basic testing playground. Don't make a top level IV and V. Just put them inside each scratch pad.
All right, so get uh, read me. Uh, let's make our get ignore as well while we're here. Oops. I need to hit I first. I didn't hit I, so I have no idea what it actually did. Get add. Get ignore. Get commit M. Initial commit. Let's actually see. Did that pick up? Yeah, Django stretch pads. Yeah, so it's still pointed. This is still pointed to the right place. This, I'd use this sometimes, or a lot of times. I find it easier to look at diffs and see what's actually going on when I make changes. I'm not a real developer, I guess. Uh, get, check out branch dev. And now, PyCharm. Oh, I wonder if this is still gonna freak it out. Open, I'm just gonna open as a directory this time instead of as a project, we'll see what happens. Dev, scratch pad. Yeah, I should rename this one instead of Django tools. Let's just call it like toolkit, which is another name that I've used a bunch before, but whatever. New window. There's a readme, cool. Oh, it comes up with readme, let's start. Uh, see? It shouldn't be doing this. Crap. Um Interpreter settings. See, like I, I made it like I completely wanted to start over, but I'm using the same directory name, but it's got it's like already doing all this stuff. I don't want that to happen for current projects. Oops, no. Project Dango Scratch Hads, but it's not. It shouldn't see that as a project. Like, there's no project files in there. Whoa, what was that? I think I just saw something. Project structure. Add content to root. <sighs> I want to use the name Django Scratch Pads, plus whatever. I need to figure this out. Now where did those come from? Kind of weird. Also, the thing stopped. I think it may have uh, crashed. Okay, yeah, but I want to finish this first. Exclude edit scopes project. Select open file. Collapse all. Show options menu. Show excluded. Open files with single click. But. Oops. Oh. 
Oh, just closing everything. New project. Django scratch pads open. I don't want to do any of this. Cancel. Open. Wait, what's configure? Preferences, plugins, run configuration templates, import exports, set it. Whoops. Corrupt the dates. Edit custom VM options. You can't see these custom properties. Stream URL. See the document to share settings throughout. Okay, yeah, whatever. Should be a cancel there. Guess we just hit it. Escape. But why? Why, 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 why? Like, it's the same directory. I get it. But, like, I cleared all the stuff out. But it's still picking that interpreter. And the only thing it's, uh, oh, it added that git or that idea. This has been my life recently. It's all these little like Silly things. No interpreter. Okay. Nope. There it goes. See, it picked it up again. PyCharm project. Same directory. New interpreter. Ignores. I changed my interpreter to the actual one. How to make track on always recognize imports. It's not a good search, apparently. Um, so, like, let's try this. Get rid of Django scratch pads altogether. Make your Django scratch pads. Nothing in it, like completely empty. But see, it's it knows it's there. Dev scratch pads. Did it again. Ah, that's it's not critical, but I want to solve that. Like, because I don't want that interpreter. Like, actually, no, I don't want that interpreter sitting on top. I guess I could just go into the project and tell it not to have an interpreter, maybe. No interpreter. Apply. Okay. Configure interpreter. Python has been configured as a project interpreter. Configure a Python interpreter. 
Whoops. That's not bad. I don't know you could do that. What's in favorites? Django scratch pad auto added. See? PyCharm auto add. And enable git auto adding files. Auto add interpreter. To add a new interpreter, PyCharm startup, no Python interpreter. Um, or that's, I've spent the time that I'm going to spend on that and now I'm not going to spend any more time on it. This is nice though. I like that. Um, okay. So now we've got that. Let's see what happens. Get clone. See if it does it again. I'm just going to delete it if it does. Like, that seems to be an okay option. I just, I still, I don't like that. Take two. Read me, MD. Django scratch pads. Basic playground for messing with Django. Do our git ignore. It's still sitting there. I just pulled that from GitHub. Git at dot. Oh, they're already added. Git check out branch dev. <coughs> so that should be there on dev. Cool. Uh, PyCharm. That's just sitting there. Okay, no interpreter. Here we go. So now make their zero one. Um, what do you want to call this? Uh, Music test. And then we do pi env virtual env Are we still at Python three? Nine. Oh. Three nine now. Okay. Python three dot nine dot oh. And we're naming this V E N V I guess we'll just call it a one music test. So many virtual environments, but that's what they're there for. And then Pyth Py env local env01. Do it. Cool. So now let's get a PyCharm. 
Oh, actually, what I should do... Yeah, I don't need to make that. We can do this. Open. This is better. Because these projects are independent, right? This is just the housing for it. This is the actual project. Now this, I'm okay. Yeah, three, nine. There we go. So I'm cool with that. I like that. Good, virtual environments right there. Okay. Pip, install, Django. Might as well fix this. Oops. Okay, cool. And so now, Django admin. Start project. Config dot. There we go. Python manage pi, start app, pages. This is gonna take a minute because I'm gonna put all my actual notes in here, um, like the full on setup. Installed apps. All right, let me see if I can remember how to do all this stuff. Uh, come over here. find base dir, right? No, base dir. There we go. Settings up pi, add that to that, and settings dot stdings dot pi, add
under templates change that to that. Just go ahead and get that out of the way. And config urls.py change that to that. Let's call these configs. Then include pages URLs. up here so we've done this start pages manage.py migrate pages python manage pi migrate pages yes i did grate oh, okay yeah so i should have done that earlier uh, settings, probably here. This might not be in the right place. Yeah, sorry if this is a little tedious. I just want to have like good notes for all this stuff. I've got this a few times, but like, I want like a solid set of like, here's startup, right? And eventually I'll split this out and do like, you know, here's start, here's add pages, here's add home page, here's you know, add about page if you've already got the home page or whatever. Um, so here we're gonna create file, pages urls.py with Actually, pull this off of another set of notes that I have. Which I think is on page three now. Yeah, right here. on the top level. Should 
show an example of how Visual Studio Code could help underlining things. I think we have this and this. So now I'm unsure of my notes. Like I know how it's working, but like change that to that. Whoops. Pages URLs. Okay, yeah, so this is it. URLs to be that. Why is that angry? That doesn't make any sense. Why is everything angry now? I must have broken something bad. I should have been testing this the whole time. Oh wait, uh, migrate pages, what's that gonna do? Name include is not defined. I should have been testing this the whole time. Pages view, nothing called home page. Okay, so let me assume this is gonna work. Why is that tapping so weird? Oh wait, was I doing tab? No? I don't know. Well, who knows? Weird. Unresolved reference Django. Ah, uh, this is making me nervous. But like, it's kind of working. And like, these were working a minute ago. Python 3.9. Whatever, I'm gonna keep working on it and we'll see what happens in a minute. Um, Bef, whoops, homepage. Oh, uh, you don't need self there. You do need quest, because it passes a request. Return, render, request. Pages, home page, HTML. Change pages, views, pi to see that tab. Python, manage, run, server. I just did the migrations. Oh, no, those are general migrations. What's up here? Where was this? We don't need that. Because we're just migrating the uh, the default stuff that comes with Django. But now if we run the server.
Yep. Pages, home page. Yep. Okay, whatever. I think we're making progress. I'm not doing, like, this is not, like, the right way to do it. I'm just trying to get everything down. Um, and then I'm going to go through and read. Because like, I've got all those notes that I did, but, like, I want to make, they're kind of all over the place. So this is going to be the process of coming up with uh, a concise set of notes. I don't think that's going to work. Empty path didn't match any of those. Okay. So in our URLs, that should be that. There we go. Yeah, so originally what I was doing was having, was walking through a process of like setting up the homepage in one place and then moving it, but I, I don't think I want to do that in the tutorial stuff. I guess that's working. Okay, cool. So really what we want to do is See, there's a, there's a different way that you would do it if you know what you're doing and if you don't know what you're doing, right? Um, templates based HTML at the root of the project. something like doc type HTML HTML title title Uh, we're going ahead. Sorry. Head. Head. Body. And then here we're going to do block content. Block. In block. Content. Body. HTML. Directory templates, new file, base, HTML, and put that on there. Music site, should put that in our notes. Just so we've got, so that, that lets you actually see something there, right? So if we do the page and we do it right, and then, uh, Block content. But this is an H3. 
Welcome to the site, to the music site. And block content. Did I find all that stuff up? Nope. Welcome to the music site. Oh, I didn't pick it up. Oh, yeah, it's gotta extend. I wish I could turn that off. There we go. That one, there's a couple hotkeys in PyCharm that are not the same as all the rest of my Mac apps, and it's just like, it throws me every time. Uh, extends, base, HTML. There we go. So that's the basic setup, right? So now, um, create models. Okay. Decide basic structure up front. So you could have an artist, song, producer. And this is, yeah, so you could get complicated here in terms of like, Songs could have multiple artists. For this example, songs have only one artist and one producer. I don't know enough about songs and producers to figure out. So should we do movies? So there's a movie that could have actors and directors. I like this a little bit more because it's there's one yeah, there's a little bit more things, right? So For this example, artists can have multiple songs. Producers multiple songs. Songs can have only one artist and one producer. Songs must have both an artist and a producer. I don't know why I'm capitalizing artist and not producer. So step one is make models. Or is to make, let's make the artist first.
And so I think in Django, you do, the idea is you make the table, so you make them plural. Um, so Python, manage pi, start app, artists. Let's go. And then in settings, settings.py add artists to installed apps Let's see if I spelled that right I did cool oh uh Manage pi, create super user. That's fine. Whoops. tabbed right And so in config URLs dot pi Let me close a bunch of these. You could put the name. Is that how you do that? You could put the name there as well as in the other URLs pi file. I'll bet that's what you can do. But I, I think I like it better on the other one. Add that to URL patterns. I didn't put the list up on the other one. We'll see. We'll go through that and see which one I like. Uh. File URLs dot pi make artists URLs dot pi with the 
Not that. Not that. Pages. I'm gonna actually type this. So from Django.url import URLs. URL. I actually don't remember what it was. Import path. Whoops. Close that one. From dot from dot import views and then URL patterns is a list with path of nothing equals views dot index and actually I want to do this app name equals artists. That will come into play later. See, it's that weird tab. Now it's doing it. I don't understand. And then views def index request return request no return render request artists index html Add this set up artist views pie so that it looks like this. Just do the whole thing. Victor for artists templates create artists templates artists index HTML with Whatever. New directory artists file index HTML. I'm not 100% sure if this is a good idea, but extends base HTML. And what I mean by good idea is having like the index.html, but like it's namespace based off the app, so I think it's okay. Um, we'll see. Block content. That was both wrong. That was also wrong. There we go. Oh, I've got this. I can do this. B C B C semicolon. Um, welcome to the artists list page. Oh, you know, I wonder if you should do, if you should make the, uh, yeah, you really should make all the models first.
Should be okay to move that down. But just as an FYI, that's what you did originally. Okay. So for the models, So that gives us the installed apps. Yeah, the first, this, this actually makes more sense, right? The first thing is really like use the admin. Get used to all the stuff and then put it in. Yeah, I like that separation. Class artist. I'm gonna cheat and pull that stuff back out of the trash. Coaches, models. So, models, model. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Current interpreter pod 3.9. See, it's, oh, it's not using the right interpreter. Ugh. That's why everything's not showing up. G I R A F. S G I specifications and utilities. Let you go between asynchronous and synchronous code at will. Okay. Whatever. Is this going to clear itself now? Name equals models char field name max length. Yeah, there I picked it up. Max length equals 200. Knew something was out of whack there. Self that name. I also like this too because it's um,
It's like super simple, right? There's very little going on here. Artist just has a name. Like, we don't need to put anything else, just a name. Actually, if you take that out, I want to see what happens. I think that just is in the admin interface. It just keeps the thing the same, which actually might be interesting to leave there. That's probably for some form stuff, too. OK, we'll see what happens. And then I think you just do view is not defined. What? Oh, I didn't go all the way down. I failed on doing. So there's our music site. Artists. Plug on the artist list page. There you go. Admin. Yes, yeah, this is weird. So like all the tutorials have you do all this other crazy stuff, but like just make the models first. Uh, and then admin. From dot models, import artist. And then admin dot site dot register. Artist. Yeah, this is actually really straightforward, right? In artists admin.py, change it to three lines. It's awesome. See, I think it has to do with if we don't grab the whole thing. Like I was tabbed over and it was only like, it only selected like that. And that freaked it out. And then Python manage make migrations for artists. Python manage pi migrate artists. I think that makes it show up in the admin, right? Oh, probably gonna run the server. Artists. Add artist. John. Coltrane. Save. Artist, John Coltrane. I don't know her name's showing up. Probably comes on the form, but. Make the song. 
So same process. I want to see if I can do it. How much I can do this from memory. Python manage. Start app songs. In song, uh, add songs to installed apps in config config settings.py close these down songs I don't need to do that yet. We're not doing those. Class, song, models, model, name equals models, char field, Max length to fifty six, and then def string self return name self dot name. Change songs models pi to see now it's doing it, even though it only had part of it selected. I have no idea. So, I mean, that's wait, is that really it? You do the models. Oh, and then on the admin. Change songs admin dot pi to so we're gonna do from dot models import song admin site I think it's site. It's not sites. Okay, let's go look. I don't know which one it is. It is site. Okay, that makes sense, right? Your admin site. Made sense. If I had to pick one, that's what I would have gone with. Register song. Just run your migrations, right? Yes, I did mean make migrations. I don't know what I make migrations. Oh, plural. Python manage pi. Migrate songs. Yeah, this is really how you should do a tutorial. 
don't worry about any of the web stuff until you got the database stuff in there and then mess around with the database stuff for a little bit and then you can apply stuff that way. Because you've actually got something to do instead of looking, building HTML and then building the model and then back and forth, like more separation of the church and state there. Right, whoops, start it. Songs. It's slightly unfortunate that it's completely alphabetized and it doesn't put, excuse me, put that stuff up top. My favorite things. Save. And then. Well, of Supreme. Artists. Add artist. Miles Davis. Add songs. Kind of cool. Uh, cool. So then... Python Ford key. Gotta go here in a minute. Tutorial models, foreign key, tutorial series. See, this is just a lot of stuff happening right here. Tutorials. Tutorial goes in the tutorial series. Default one for name series on delete. Models set default. Oh, here's what we're doing. The category slug in the URL is part of the category. For example, in this data analysis, the URL part of that. Next, we'll make another model tutorial series, which will have a foreign key that points to tutorial category. Okay, so. trying to get my head around some language to describe that. So like it's it's going up. So the song is going to have a foreign key of artist. I think. This is why we experiment. Songs, models. Models, foreign key, artist. Doesn't like that. Uh, but you gotta include it somewhere. Artist, artist. Uh, 
Ah, one positional missing on delete. Okay. On delete. What are my options? Model set default. Cascade, whatever. That didn't have quotes around it. So, Python manage make migrations for songs. Python manage migrate songs. Start the server. There you go. So now when we make a new song, I can't remember any models of Davis songs. Birth of the Cool. Birth of Cool, which I think is album. And this, we want to get the display going back. But that's for another time because it's time to go. So, cool. That's pretty slick. I'm liking this. This is neat. This is way easier than all the other tutorial stuff I've seen makes it seem. Like, yeah. Like, just get your head around this, and then you can go do the HTML stuff. Like, that's... It mushes it all together, and that's not the way to do this. Super interesting. All right. Thanks, folks. We'll see you next time. Uh, probably later tonight, depending on how the game goes. So, see ya.